Right. And I'm at the home of Robert Davenport and his uh, his place. I've told a number of you about it, and now you get a chance to meet him here, Bob. Uh, this is your house, I guess. Yes, this is my house. And uh, you're up against a tough deadline, I understand. Uh, ah, yes. The city wants to sell the house. Well, they're not. They, they're going to sell the house uh, to the highest bidder to pay the back taxes on the 25th of this month. So now, uh, uh, I understand that uh, you used to be in the Navy. Why don't you tell me about that? Uh, I was... I was a corpsman in the Navy for six years from, let's see, 1975 to 81. I spent four years at the Naval Hospital in Portsmouth, and the other two years I was stationed locally here, well, at Cecil Field, uh, and went haze gray and underway on independence from VS-28. Uh, you, uh, you also, um, got a, got your own degree. Yes, uh, when I got out of the Navy, um, used the GI Bill. And they, uh, provided me an education, and I received my bachelor's degree in natural sciences from good old UNF, University of North Florida. Yeah. Wonderful yeah. place. Now, you had a number of jobs, but one of them was with the IRS. Ha! That was fun. Okay. Um, I was one of the good guys. <laughs> when uh, when you call their 800 number and you have questions about usually your, your refund or any other question about tax law and what should I do and procedures and stuff like that, I was one of the guys that you talked to. Uh, um... You're, you're a dog here. What's this dog's name here? This is Taz. Short for Tasmanian Devil. Now, if uh, we're unable to get uh, stuff taken care of for uh, for the house, what do you think is going to happen with the with the dogs? you got two, uh, other, two other dogs. We have, right, a grand total of three dogs. And unless we can, if, assuming that we get displaced, um... Right. I can only assume it's not going to be good for the not, not, no, not, 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 not going to be, be good, good for, for the dogs, dogs here. Uh, uh, how in briefly? How did how did you get in this tough spot? I know money's tight, and times are tough. It's tough to get a job. Uh, you just uh, well, um, like I said, when I'm working for IRS, the it was a fun job, but it was it was pretty stressful. Um, from there. I did some delivery work for a local restaurant and an auto parts place and uh, got laid off from there. Well, I left the, the restaurant because of wear and tear on the vehicle and then got laid off from the auto parts place and from there uh, it has been, well, next to impossible if not actually impossible to find any kind of employment yeah now you had uh, had your own business going for a while and then to your vehicles broke down it wasn't practical to uh, continue to go on here um, now um, you own your house I understand that's right uh, it's free and clear there's no mortgage uh, the only people that I'm beholden to I guess is the way to put it would be the city um, I can't blame them I mean, we have to. You have to pay for pay your taxes, huh? For, right. Yeah, you have you to pay for fire and police and all that. Well, the uh, well, hopefully we'll be able to to help you out here. Uh, my the, the friends I got out here just wanted to show Bob that uh, he's a legitimate person. Uh, that we're working together with uh, our advertising business, and and uh, you know we got some things going. And it looks real promising, at least. But it's not going to be able to get him past this deadline. So, uh, anything you do to help out. Bob, then that would really be appreciated. And like I said, I wanted to show, you know, not only him, but it's going to impact, uh, you know, some dogs as well. He deserves better, in my opinion, so we're going to see what we can do. Well, All right. I appreciate that. And All right. Thanks, Bob. Thank you.